Hello and thank you for coming to the tutorial for the first Thursday for the month of July. And because we are doing this online, we're just going to have this video up for the entire month of July. So what we're going to be making for the DIY is a very simple cork, cork necklace. So here's a couple of different ideas. I'm going to give you just kind of one example of what we can do. This one is fairly easy. Um, all you need is an, a stamp, a stamp pad of any kind, uh, any color. I got black, and then any any kind of stamps that you want. Uh, you don't have to use stamps, but it's actually really easy to follow up the patterns if you use stamps. I've just chosen a really simple uh, circle with dots, and this one has just nothing but plain dots on here. Uh, and then you're going to need some paint. I just chose some fun acrylic colors. Um, some metallic colors, sage blue, any color that you want, and you really don't need much at all. So these tiny little ones will work perfectly. You need, of course, a cork. You need a cork that is actually like cork, not one of those little plastic ones. You need an exacto, a very sharp exacto knife, or an old serrated knife. Um, a really thin, fine point sharpie marker would come in handy, most likely. Uh, some some of these, um, some um, toothpicks would be really good. These have actually the, the sharp end and the flat end. So these are the cocktail toothpicks. These would be really good for making your tiny little dots. If you're making this to a necklace, you have two different options. The first option and then probably the easier one would be to get an eye hook like this that screws. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's got a little screw at the one end and it's got a little eye hook at the other end. That is probably the most simple way to, to make it into a necklace. Otherwise, we've got, you can use some wire. If you have any sort of wire, I just found this kind of in the closet here. Um, you can also use an actual jewelry bale to glue on the back of it. And that's if you want to make it into a necklace. So to get started, you can take your, um, your cork. You can actually get it a little wet, maybe soak it for a little bit. And that might actually help with you cutting it, but you don't necessarily have to do that. So I just take it here with my little knife and I just kind of watch your finger. And I make it a little bit thicker than I think I, I wanna have it because inevitably it'll end up crooked. So you're gonna have to you know, end up shaving off some parts of it a little bit or sanding it down. So you wanna make sure that you cut just about what you need, a little bit more than you need because you are probably going to have to shave it down and bear in mind too if you're going to go the route of putting an eye hook on you are going to need to have it a little bit thicker because once you screw that eye hook in it will pull apart the cork so you need to have it somewhat thick so the first thing that i did for okay it's one side that's kind of flat is i took some black just regular old uh, pad of ink and i took let's see i'll, I'll choose maybe this one here so you want to choose you can choose any sort of stamp that you want you can do do letters you can do animals anything that will fit into your little area here so I'm going to do this right here my little design now you want to get it nice you want to get it nice and full coverage on your on your ink pad where you want to go with your design so I'm going to actually pick part of this design to put on my cork so I'm going to choose to do just right on the very inside. So instead of stamping it on top like this, you want to take your cork and actually apply it to the top of your stamp and you want to hold it down. You want to press it down evenly, you know, get it kind of hard right there. And then once you think you've got the ink transferred, you pick it up. So there is my design. So you can leave it like that completely or you can decorate it. So what I did with one like this, I actually painted it first. And if you do paint it first before you do any of your ink pads, you wanna make sure it's dried completely. Otherwise it will stick and the ink will get mixed in with the paint and it won't dry properly. So if you do paint it beforehand, make sure it is absolutely dry. So I chose to do it this way. And I have another one just like this over here. So then what you can do is just decorate it from there. So what I did was I took my toothpick and I dipped it in a couple different colors. So I chose the yellow 
in the sage blue. And using the flat end of my toothpick, you can just dip it into your paint and just do dots all the way around here. Um, I did a dot in the middle. But when if you do put layers on top of each other, you want to make sure the first layer is absolutely completely dry. Um, acrylic, if you want to put on top of each other, that's okay, but the bottom layer needs to be dry, not sticky. You can uh, run a hair dryer over it. Um, just make sure that it is dry to the touch. So then you can layer another color on top, something like that. So here's another example of, so this is actually using the same stamp that I was that I used for this spiral. I just used a different part of it. So I used this part right here instead of the middle part. So even with one, one coverage of ink, you can get multiple, multiple designs for out of one stamp. Um, on the stamp pad. So for this one, I chose to do more of the outside, and then I did the same thing. I layered my layered my paint. So on the bottom part, what I did was on the bottom part, I put some gold right here. I used my flat edge of my cocktail. Um, toothpick and I put dots like that and then I let it dry for that one and then I came back in with the sharp edge and came on top of those dots there. Now the dots here on this line I just used the sharp part and then the same thing here I did I did the big dots and then I did smaller dots when it was dry. So where the little sharpie comes into, hand, into play here is you can actually very carefully you know, if the ink has some inconsistencies, you can take your black Sharpie and you can fill in where you think it might need a little bit extra help. So you can do this before or after you put paint on it, um, just as long as your paint is dry. So you can actually fill in where you think it might need a, bit, a little bit of a thicker thing. Or you can also take your Sharpie and add in some designs that you didn't get from your stamp. So if I wanted to put, you know, lines in here, for example, and just make a completely different, before I paint, you can make a completely different design that wasn't on your stamp, but you're using the stamp as a foundation. So see how all I'm doing is just adding some lines, and because it's a black Sharpie, it blends right in with the, with the ink. So then I've just made a completely different design just by adding some Sharpie to it. So the last part, well, second to last part, so now you want to seal it. You can leave it completely as it is, uh, but it will probably eventually rub off. It is kind, it is porous. So if you want to seal it, I would take some Mod Podge um, or some spray sealant and actually either spray or paint directly over top of it. And then you want to let it dry completely for at least 24 hours. You want to make sure it's not sticky. You want to make sure the whole thing is dry absolutely completely dry. So then the last part is putting it on to make a necklace. So like I said before, the easiest one would be the little eye hook here. And see what I'm going to do is just find my center part and just literally screw it into the cork. Sometimes you might have to get it started by poking a hole or something. There it goes. But and before you do this, you could actually, if you want to make sure it's secure in there, you could actually put a little bit of E6000 or industrial glue on the tip of your screw before you screw it in. And that will ensure that it doesn't pull out. It'll get glued right there. So you want to make sure that your eye hook is perpendicular to your actual cork so that you can put your necklace right through like that. If you're using some wire to put on, you can take your wire and just make a little loop like that and then kind of make a make a nice thick loop behind trim off the excess there and then you can actually hot glue it or use e6000 to the back of this it will stick out a little bit more but that's okay and that will be that will serve as your loop for your necklace you can actually glue that to the back so you don't need a fancy bale or anything. You can just use wire. You can even use floral wire if you have that. 
So that is how you do that. And then if you have a bale, you can actually turn it over and get a jewelry bale and glue it straight to the back. And that's just a little metal thing, little metal piece that has the, the, um, the hole that you can hang on your necklace with. So that is the tutorial, a quick tutorial about how to make um, a pretty simple and fun little cork necklaces. The possibilities are absolutely endless. You can use paints and stamps and you can even use some powdered pigments to color. Um, there's really not a, not a lot that you can do wrong with these little things and they're very fun to do. So thank you for coming to my tutorial. Bye-bye.